Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Logo Design Bootcamp, where every week we choose another letter of the alphabet, starting from A, B, and now we're at C, and we're going to create a fictitious logo for you to learn from and uh, become a better graphic artist in the end. With my love for cats, my passion for animals in general, but um, my cats, I figured that this week I would create a logo based on, on cats. But before I, I show you the logo, I just want to introduce you to Emma which is, I think she's choking me right now. So she's just like my little parrot on my shoulder. Watch me do a little trick like this. Watch what happens. All right, she just holds on. So this is Emma. This is a kitten that we found years ago, uh, three days old and bottle fed her. This is kitty cat number two. This is PETA. It's an acronym for pain in the ass. Uh, this is actually Emma's brother, who we also found at three days old, bottle fed uh, a long time back. And uh, he's a very good cat but he's probably gonna cry in a second and wanna jump down because he's kinda camera shy, not like his dad. This is our old lady cat, her name is TC, and she gives hugs. Watch, ready? She's giving me a hug. Thank you, mama. We call her mama, too, because she's the old lady of the group. Last but not least, this is Chubby Cat Cinnamon. And no, his name is just Cinnamon. And it also starts with the letter C. I'm not doing a logo on Cinnamon, but I am doing a logo called Chubby Cat because these cats eat so much and they all got big fat bellies, which is what we want them to have. We want them to be nice and healthy. So the logo I have designed for you all to learn today is called Chubby Cat, and it is a, uh, a feline treat, you'd say, uh, you know, when they behave, which uh, they hardly ever do, especially orange cats, they get a treat as a reward. This logo is a really simple two color logo, and uh, I also designed the packaging around it just to make it more believable. It's it, like I said, it's a very simple logo. And in your mind, you're kind of wondering, you know, where could this go? How could this be? Visualizing it is, is always going to help you a lot more. You know, you can see a, a plain Jane logo, but once you see it on a marketing piece and there's all other elements around, it does change the character of it a little bit. So that's what my whole theory was behind this. Let's get into it. Let me critique this for you. Okay, so as I said, this logo is pretty simple. Uh, I'm gonna critique this this whole packaging real quick, although this is not something I'm going to be designing for you. The packaging, it consists of a couple cool things. Um, I had it as kind of an idea of like a shaker where you kind of you know turn it over, shake it, and they pour out type of deal. So it will be kind of cylindrical, uh, maybe plastic, something like that. It's got kind of like these grips in here to, to you know be able to hold it. But uh, it was kind of just, uh, you know, an additive at the end just to throw it together real quick. Um, we have the little, uh, we have the colors of the, the blue and the brown, which uh, I wanted to go for. The red works also with it. Uh, you know, throw these strips up here with the, you know, it says chicken flavor. And we got this under here. Uh, QR code, some dummy text right there just to kind of, you know, visualize what it could look like if it was real. And... The fun part about it was I was able to include my four crazy cats in there. So uh, I just got some random quick shots of them from my iPhone and then throw them in there. So um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this logo and we're going to separate it out of here. and We're going to build this logo. This logo is pretty simple. Uh, it's Chubby Cat. Uh, if you see, the, it's this is actually the back side of a cat, you know, the rear end. And uh, it's a chubby cat. So he's nice and, and big in the back and his head is very far away and tiny. And I took into consideration the fact that when you see things that are closer, uh, just like when you're drawing, when you're drawing a human figure, uh, things that are, are closer to you are generally going to be uh, darker, I believe. They're gonna be thicker lines. So things that are further away are going to be a little bit lighter and uh, if you look in here, the lighter lines are the ones in the back and the thicker ones are the ones up front because that's the closest thing to you. Uh, you know, if you think about it, it makes sense. So we're going to come to our text tool and we're going to type in the word chubby. And I found a free font on the internet to use. And this is it right here. Make this guy a little bit bigger. Okay. And we're going to create outlines on this by going to object, excuse me, type, create outlines. And in this case, I'm going to go to my eyedropper. I'm going to select this, this reddish pink. 
All right, so I have that same color. Uh, the word cat. Let's see. What font was that? Let's see, maybe let's see. You know, in this case, let's change it to this font. And we will outline it in this case. Why not? Put some red on that. Now, the way that we get these arcs right here is basically just taking an ellipse tool. And I'm not going to make the proportions exact. I'm going to change it a little bit. But uh, making one circle and filling it, um, holding, now we want to copy this over. So you want to hold Option, click, and move. And hold the Shift button while you're doing that so it moves it in proportion. It doesn't move it all around the page. Lay that on top. Select these two objects. Go to minus front, and it's going to subtract the front object from the back object. So now we got this little uh, backside type of shape. Make that a little smaller. And I'm going to create the bottom foot over here, just like so. That was a little wider on the, on the original. And obviously that looks kind of stupid the way that it, that is. So what I did was I came over here to the pen tool and I'm just going to, I'm going to subtract a shape from the main shape. By making a shape like that, I'm going to move the foot right back where it needs to be. I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to change another color so you can see I'm going to make it green. And as long as this green is on top of this red shape, we're going to select both. And we're going to minus the front. And there is our foot. Foot number one. Fix that up a little bit. Okay. And we're going to select both of these elements. We're going to hold Option, click, and Shift. That's how you copy. We're going to come over here to the Reflect tool, flip it around like so. And going to fill this area in with the word cat so it's more proportional. Select both of these and move them up. Okay. Already there's something wrong. What is wrong is that my feet are way too small. We're not going to worry about that in this case. To do the top, the area is, is very simple. Just like before, we're going to make a circle. And we're going to option click shift to copy it. And we're going to cut that out. I'm going to make the back of the neck. And we're going to sample this red color. I'm just eyeing this up right now. Flip. I want to copy that over like I just did. All right. And the last shape I want to make is the ears up here, which are pretty self-explanatory. The way that you do that is you take the pen tool and you come around. I'll have to change it on the color. Let's see. Change it to pink. And I'm gonna outline those ears. go. So now we're going to create two more little things right here. And you can change the individual shapes of these later, make the ends pointy and stuff like that. All right, we're going to select one, two, three pink shapes. We're going to group them by hitting Command G, or Apple G, excuse me, and pull that bad boy over here. And now we got our cat. And the last thing we're going to do is add our tail. And the way that you do the tail is, I did this in the letter B tutorial, but I'm going to show you again because it's very important. We're going to make a brush, all right? In the end, the brush is going to 
go from a big brush to a small end, no matter what kind of shape we make it. And what I mean by that is we're going to come over to our rounded rectangle. We're going to make a rectangle and we're going to fill it with, uh, let's fill it with this brown. And we're going to make one end really thin. And so I'm going to click the pen and we're going to go to the delete anchor point tool. We're going to delete an anchor point there. Okay, so you notice how it goes really thick to really thin. All right, we're going to select this. We're going to come to our brushes, hit the drop down, new brush, new art brush, hit OK. And the direction we want to go in is that direction from left to right. We're going to hit OK. And now basically, whatever I do with the brush, it's going to be thick on the left and thin to the right. It's really, really cool. So we can do like a circle in like that. And in this case, I just decided to do a really simple shape like that. It is a stroke, so you can make the weight of it heavier by coming to it here and doing that to make it proportional to the cat. And that's it on how you make the Chubby Cat logo. Really simple, uh, yet when put on a marketing, uh, on, you know, a marketing piece, over here is very effective. So I'm going to put that back on there so you can see it. Obviously the ears are locked, so let's move that over. That's an effective logo right there. All right, so I hope you enjoyed episode number three, the letter C uh, of Logo Design Bootcamp. My name is Steve Looney from GraphicDesignerTips.com. Please subscribe to our channel and definitely like this video. The likes are important. That's what gets us out there more. And obviously subscribing, it helps them, it helps you to know exactly when we throw up another video. But we're doing these once per week, and uh, that's really it. So I hope you enjoyed something. I hope you learned something out of this, and uh, everybody have a great night.